Greetings everyone, my name is Numbers Can Be Fun, and today we're taking a look at the uh, article from the register about the new Mozilla mobile add-on extensions, uh, which is something that I'm very excited about and I believe a lot of you are very excited about, so let's dive in. At long last, Mozilla is planning to make browser extensions, also known as add-ons, available to Firefox on Android at some point following the expected November 21st release of the browser's 120 build. This week, the organization urged developers to evaluate their extension code in preparation for the occasion since it's expecting a lot of demand. We are anticipating strong interest from users excited to explore all the ways that they can customize Firefox for Android. Scott said Devaney, staff editorial manager for Firefox add-ons in an online post. Current trends indicate that we'll have 200 plus new Firefox for Android extensions on AMO add-ons.mozilla.org when openly available debuts, uh, when open availability debuts in December. Mozilla has been working on this idea since at least 2019 when Vesta Zare, I'm not sure how to say that, uh, Product strategy lead uh, for Firefox Mobile suggested the idea in a post to GitHub uh, repo for Phoenix, Phoenix, a revised version of Firefox for Android. So it looks like uh, this update is pretty much just for the Android version of um, of Mozilla Firefox and not necessarily for the iPhone version, which is a little disappointing for anybody who's using iPhone out there. Um, but it's exciting to see this update is around the corner. But progress was slow and there were concerns about security, a vexing issue when it comes to extension, allowing Firefox for Android users to download and install extensions that have been thoroughly reviewed poses a risk, particularly given the sensitivity of data stored on phones. Um, example would be payment cards and personal details in the desktop ecosystem. Browser extensions have been a frequent source of malware and abuse. This is actually a really good point. Um, a lot of extensions should not be trusted and do come from like pretty nefarious sources. Um, there are a lot of really good uh, extensions out there and I do plan on making a video on some of my favorite uh, Firefox extensions, but this is a really good point. There is a lot of malware and abuse available on these extension stores, so you should be careful about what types of extensions you are deploying um, when uh, utilizing that feature uh, through Firefox. Um, even with the security ri risks, the extensibility of web browsers is one of the defining characteristics of the open web. Unlike passive display technologies like televisions, the browsers let us take an active role in how content gets processed and presented. This freedom is not entirely to the liking of online content providers. Web publishers for years have asked site visit visitors to disable ad blocking extensions, a step YouTube has recently undertaken in force. Yeah, this is a big issue uh, for me. Now, as somebody who is a content creator on YouTube, I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you. And I, I don't know if this would get me in trouble with YouTube at all, and honestly, I don't care. Um, but you're more than welcome to put up an ad block on any of my videos. I don't have monetization turned on now, but if I ever do turn on monetization for my videos, I just want to make it 100% clear that skipping any anything that I promote, um, whether that be ads or um, any uh, promotional content in the future is totally fine. Um, I encourage my audience to do it. I do it a lot um, with some content creators, especially ones that are a little bit more annoying with the uh, self-promotion. So, um, I'm totally fine with it, uh, but I, I can understand why a company like YouTube um, has a problem with it. I mean, you are directly messing with their profit, and the point of every company existing is to make profit. So, something uh, something to just keep in in perspective. Um, Google, which makes the most popular uh, browser at the moment, Chrome, does not currently support extensions in Chrome for Android. People speculate that Google does not do so because Android users would block ads, a known matter of concern for the advertising giant, which, you know, I just made that point earlier, but <laughs> here we go. Um, however, 
Google's ongoing revision of its Chrome extension architecture known as Manifest V3 aspires to make extensions less demanding of CPU resources and less dependent on persistent uh, processes that would make Manifest V3 extensions better suited for mobile devices. If Google chose to add extension support in Chrome for Android to avoid being left behind by competitors, it's worth noting that Apple, Mozilla, and Microsoft are all planning to support Manifest V3 with some vari variation in their respective browsers. The Yandex mobile browser, popular in Russia, added support for extensions on Android in 2016 and other Android-based browsers like Kiwi have done so. Among the larger browser makers, Mozilla managed to roll out support for limited set of recommended extensions for Firefox on Android in January 2021, but Apple managed a broader implementation when it introduced support for, for, for Safari extensions in iOS 15 in September 2021. Mozilla mentioned browser extensibility in its 2022 vision for the web and hinted at some point that the changes prevented uh, that the challenges that prevented the organization from realizing mobile browser extensions earlier. Add-ons have added have access to so much more powerful capabilities than sites do, which makes them distinctly not casual, the company said. The necessity some degree of gatekeeping and curation in order to keep people from safe from malicious add-ons. We are exploring ways to reduce this friction, but ultimately we need to exercise some degree of oversight to balance openness, agency, and safety for browser extensions. A year and a half later, Firefox for Android is almost ready to live up to Mozilla's web vision. This is awesome news. I am really excited. I am not at all really concerned too much about the malware issues as far as the browser extensions. Um, and, and that just comes with like just a bit of personal education on my part um, before I just slap any kind of random extension software and just let it run. Um, I look into it a little bit. I look to see if that is from a reputable software developer or not. Um, so do your own diligence when it comes to these extensions, but I don't know about you guys, I'm super excited to have extensions for mobile, even though it's not coming to a device that I'm currently using. The fact that this is just around the corner is something that I think we can all be excited about. I'd be really, really, uh, really interested to hear you guys' thoughts uh, in the comments below. So go ahead and please leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this update. That's all I got for you folks today. As always, thank you for watching. My name is Numbers Can Be Fun, and I hope all of you have a wonderful day.